뿌리가 뿌리가 쓰러 왜 했겠어? Home. So, maybe come and see that as well. You hope they kiss me, we come and see you later. You know, mm -hmm. my brother, go home my wrist. Go home my wrist, brother. Look how nice you look. Mm -hmm. Look how nice you look, my brother. <laughs>
This is all we can do for you. We come and we come at the house and see you. Anything happened to me, you have a brother. He will take care of me. So then, my brother still come by, but he came into a home too. Dave Johnny, I can't even come. Dave Johnny, Dave Johnny. But, what about you, baby? My baby? My hmm? big buddy. You want my phone to find him?
Father, we give you praise, glory, and honor as we come to you, Lord. Hallelujah. Back to the place. Bless the Lord. I see some calls come there. You're welcome to have you, everybody. You're free to come and take a little view, you know. Bless the Lord. I thank God this evening, oh God, for everyone in the present this evening to cooperate in this funeral service. The pass through death, death is a sting, is a pain, it's sorrow, it grief, it brings hurt and pain. This is how death is a sting, it stings. Bless the Lord. I would encourage the Viri family support. Bless the Lord. Father, I give you thanks and praise, glory and honor you. At this time we have in this service this evening, O oh God, as we continue in your presence this evening, O oh God. Father, you lead and direct us by your Holy Spirit this evening, O oh God. Lord, you take charge and control, O oh God, thus far we have reached in this service, O oh God. Let your will be done, O oh God. Father, we thank you for the word this evening, O oh God. We thank you for everything, O oh God. We thank you for the families, neighbors, and friends, O oh God, that take this time off to come to to support in the funeral service, oh God. Father, you grab them strength and courage and faith this evening, oh God. Strength them, oh God. You are the comforter, you are the shield, and you are the buckler, oh God. You the same yesterday, today, and forever. You never leave us, don't forsake us, but you'll be with us unto the end. God, don't leave us. We just leave God, but he will be with us unto the end. Father, I thank you this evening, oh God, as we continue in your presence, oh God. Father, we give you thanks and praise, glory and honor, Lord. I thank you for the word this evening, O oh God. That the word is going to build roots and heart this evening, O oh God. That it will strengthen and fill, O oh God, that we will know from the word this evening, O oh God. As we listen, O oh God, bless the Lord. Everyone had to pass through this journey. All of us had to leave this world one day. In the book of Ecclesiastes, it says here in the word, chapter 3, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. The word is saying here, to everything there is a season and a time, to every purpose under the heaven, a time to born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which was planted, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. Bless the Lord. So it's a season under the heaven for everything. We're in a dry season now. We're expecting the rain right close by. So it has season for everything. A time to born and there is a time to die. Everything have life have to die. So this is how Death is now. Rudal born well. I don't know how what day and the end thing, but this is now the past in our way of Brother Rudal. He lived his life as he go along and now he's ready to go back to his maker and creator. So it's a purpose under the heaven for everything. A time to plant and a time to gather that which was planted. So this is how life is this evening. We had to face death. And we had to know the purpose 
that we are here on planet Earth. We have come here by accident. We come here for a purpose, and we have to know our purpose this evening, why we are here this evening on planet Earth. God bring we here to do something this evening. Bless the Lord. So a time, a time to weep and a time to laugh and a time to mourn and a time to dance. So we are in a time of grief and sorrow and pain because we lost our loved one. This is how death is, it brings pain and sorrow. Bless the Lord. So everything have us time for everything. So you see a time to weep is weeping time. Some of them say don't cry. How oh, you don't cry? Your uncle die, your daughter die, your brother die, your father die, you must be. This is how life is. Bless the Lord. So weep from the heart. Freely. Hallelujah. This is how it be. So I thank God there is a season and a time for everything this, this evening. Hallelujah. This afternoon. A time to cast away stone and a time to gather stone together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to, a time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep silent. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rain and a time to sow. A time to keep silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. Bless the Lord. So you have a timing in this life for everything. As the word is written there. But how we get along with it? When it happened? Bless the Lord if someone tells you something, you'll go against him. You have to left it there and say, do something not to cause a trouble. Bless the Lord that you could overcome it. And you don't cause a conflict or argument. A time to hate and a time to love. A time of peace this evening. So bless the Lord this evening under the heaven. There is everything set under the heaven. We are under the heaven today. We are living on planet earth. To do good to one another. To help one another. To love one another. We is our brother keepers. Not like Cain and Abel. When they brought the gift unto God. One was a teller the ground, one was a keeper the shepherd, the sheep, the shepherd. And they brought forth the first fruit unto God as a sacrifice. And God accepted Abel one. And Cain was very angry. Because God has accepted Abel won, but Abel had a good heart with love. So he bring it with a good heart and present it to God. But Cain was very jealous of his own brother. So he built a pressure in his, in his heart, an envy and a hate because of the evil thinking or the wicked thinking. And God talked to Cain and tell him, he said, you could overcome this. If you do good like your brother, I will accept your gift. And God spoke to him and he didn't listen. But if he listened to the word of God, or the voice of God, he'd be like his brother. And he took his brother in the field. He done so that in his heart already, what he going to do? And he took his brother in the field and he looked left, right, and he see no one. And he take the mallet or a piece of wood and he hit his brother and kill him. And the blood of his brother 
crying out unto God. Because that was the first murder on earth. And God said, Cain, where is thy brother? He said, I am my brother keeper. He don't kill his brother already. And he lying for God. But you can't lie for God. He said, I am my brother keeper. God say, but your brother, blood cried out unto me. Hmm? And he say, not my brother keeper. Hmm? God tell him, you go be like a vagabond in the earth. A fugitive, you go be toiling this earth with pressure. He say, Lord, my pressure is too much, I can't bear it. Because of the evil of his heart. So it's better to do good than you will receive good. If you live by the sword, you shall die by the sword. Bless the Lord. So it's a time for everything this evening under the heaven. Bless the Lord to forgive to love. Oh, glory to God this evening. I thank God for this brother this evening. I know him well over 20 years, but he could be more. And when I see him by the workplace, by the gas station, he walking on the, the, the kerosene side and the diesel side. Well, they are a little more slower than the gas side, more faster. So you will come across there and I go see him. I will say, root out the red nose ring there. And I will put a smile on his face. And he go laugh. Bless the Lord. I like to make him laugh. You know? So he's a good friend. A good person, but everybody have a habit. Not everybody could overcome their habit, but if you encourage him by a word, could help him. So we could help one another, lift up one another, not like Cain and Abel. Don't kill your brother. You could give him a word and lift him up. They say, give a man a chair to sit down. Don't take the chair. Bless the Lord. Do good. That good God follow. And I remember on Upoli, the road up in the and cross day. I was cutting cane for a family. They didn't have much, a little bit. The crop already finished. A brother Rudel and another brother from by Ayan over the road. I can't remember his name. It's a long time. And Rudel, well, you know he's a drinker. He take his drink and then you know what's coming out. So the brother tell him, he say, hey now, man, look at my pastor today. Look what you say. The man hold back immediately. He stop using the word. He show respect and love. When the partner tell him, look, there is a pastor there or a preacher or whatever. The man stop using the word. So you see how good it is? He have respect. Bless the Lord. Some other man might say, shoot tea and they might use and continue. But I thank God he had some respect and some love. And from that I start to know what he name and I start to call him and we start to talk on him. I always deal with him. So he's a good person to me when I say everybody had a way. So I thank God for Brother Rudolph this time that he has spent in this land here. He do what he know and what he could have do. Bless the Lord. So we ought to lift up one another. If we see something here right, we could tell somebody, hey, boy, do so now. Give them a little word of encouragement, and that might help sometime. So Brother Rudal is no stranger. He's a man known right through. And I love him because he's a man always talking, he laughing, and he, they, if he have a little way, if you talk to him, he go change. He go put on a smile. Bless the Lord. So God is good this evening. So I want to urge you this evening, we have to live with love and peace in the time now. We are in serious time. All kind of things happening under the heaven. We live in a time now, we're not safe, no way. Things are happening, we are lost, losing our lives. Children losing their life, elderly, young, all kind, all kind of things are happening. The time is coming, dangerous, perilous time shall come. And these things shall come. The only Savior we have is God. 
at in the night time and I sleep with all my grandchildren. The daddy went to work, going to, going to work. And I say, Lord, look at things happening in this time now. I can't fight nobody. Me and no weapon. And if I have a weapon, that can't help because the fellow have bad a weapon and your weapon. I say, God, the only help I have is you. God, you help me cover we. Under your wing, take care of we, Lord. We cannot fight these men and them, but you could handle them. God is my shield, God is my buckler, and he's my defense. In a time of trouble, God going to help us. And if God for us, who could be against us? So you have to put God in your life. You have to seek God for help. And if God is for you, nobody can be against you. Because you have God with you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So we are in serious time. Under the heaven. So I thank God this evening for his protection and his guidance this evening. Not too long. My son woke in, in a place there and the partner went by the river Cora. Not too long and some fellas beat up the man, they blocked the road. The young man, 34, 33 years, was in news and papers and things. And maybe come out to tell them, give me a pass to go. I don't know if any, I wasn't there if any little argument take place because you know when man lying and drinking, what has happened? Oh God, if you lie me, leave the road clear now, man. And the man come out to tell them, well, I want to pass. And I don't want what issue rise up. And they beat up the man. And the man went to the Forasmin Hospital. But they're taking a little time now. And uh, they move out and go to private. And the man lasts about nine days and he passed away. Left wife, children, everything. Oh, glory to God. We don't know where we're going today. We're not safe. No way are safe now. They say in your house safe. Well, they're in the house now. So we need this help from God now. To help us and to protect us. I'm sorry for the young man. Sometimes we don't go to go to certain place. I'm afraid to come out from my house. And I try to get in here. Try to do everything that you could do. Outside there easy. The road when you come in the road here easy. They're driving all in top you and they want to beat you and curse you. Hmm? So it's a serious time we live in. So we need God protection this evening. We need God guidance this evening. When we get up in the morning, I say, Lord, protect and guide. You take the control, you take the leading. Because we know what we're going to face out there. I say, God, you in charge. You make the way that we will follow. Oh, glory to God, we have to pray for safety. You have a young daughter going to school or going to work. You are sure if they're going to return. Wife going to work, you are sure if they're going to return. In the time we live in, who you are called upon? The police guests protect everybody at the same time so we need God for that protection my daughter is to walk up in the highway and she nearly get kidnapped with the driver but she stopped quiet and he fell off like something run through his mind and he changed his mindset Oh, glory to God. So you have to pray for your children and pray for your family this evening. Oh, glory. Not easy. Not easy under this heaven. So it's a lot of things to face and a lot of things to pass. So this family is passing through a time now of sorrow and pain and grief. Oh, glory to God. We won't see this brother again in this land. He going now to the maker. He say... Appointed unto man wants to die and after judgment. So that is another place we're talking about. Oh, glory to God. God know. We know about this place here under the heaven. We have life here. We live here. We know about that. We know about our surrounded. And wherever we go, we know about that. We don't know after this. 
but they won't direct us what's going to happen. So the sister, the brother, and the children went to loss and grief and sorrow and friend for the loved ones. It's pain this evening, but so life is. Pointed unto man. Yeah. Once you are born, you have to die. So under the heaven is a purpose. You go born and we have to die. Nobody know when you go die. Jesus said, I know my time. You doesn't know your time. So be ready at all time. So we have to be prepared and ready at all time. That death could strike any time. Are we ready to go to meet our maker if death do strike? We have to prepare ourselves. This life is preparing yourself for death. Oh, glory to God. It's the first death. You have a second death. That is the death we have to afraid. The second one. When God judge you, he could do the separation. Oh, glory to God. God. He said, like the goat from the sheep. Not me. He, ha he could do that. So this life we are living, we have to prepare ourselves. Let us love one another. Let us live good. Let us do good. Oh, glory to God. It costs me nothing to do good. Hmm? So that we say something bad. Let me say something good now. A soft word bring release. Relief. He stir up anger. A harsh word stir up anger. Oh, glory to God. Let us speak good word that we can bring love. And you cheer up somebody this evening. So the brother has finished his journey, the earthly journey. So he's going to the beyond now, another journey. So this is how life is. We all have to pass through this channel. We all have to go through this. Hard or soft, we have to go through it. God said, give him thanks in the good time and the bad time. Oh, glory to God. Don't wait when he good, then we go thank God. Thank him when he bad too. Thank God every day and every time. Oh glory to God when I know God has changed. Everything changed, mindset, ways. Hallelujah. He changed it. So I know how important it is to give God thanks and praise. Oh glory to God when you see people in condition. They cannot move. I met a man three weeks, he said, boy, I lying in this bed and I can't turn. I hope God, I want somebody to give me a little turn. And I'm now going to give me a little turn. Same time he knows, come I can't go interfere there. I'll, I'll get in trouble. Right? So you see how life is? We could walk, we could talk, we use it in the right way. Don't feel that it's to advantage anybody or do any people anything. Don't, don't use it in that way. Use it in a good way to help somebody. Because when we fall, we will cry upon God for help. Our help cometh from the Lord. When I lift up my eyes unto the help, my help cometh from the Lord who made the heaven and the earth. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from the going out and from the coming in and from this time forth and forevermore. So we depend on God when we lift up our eyes to the hill. Our help cometh from the Lord. Psalm 21, 21. Bless the Lord. So Father, I give you thanks and praise, glory and honor this evening. Lord, I pray for this family that they in this pain and grief and sorrow, oh God, that you comfort them, you strengthen them, and you fill them this evening, oh God. You are the comforter, you are the shield, and you are the buckler, oh God. In a time of grief and sorrow, you can... Comfort them, O oh God. You is a comforter in this time, O oh God. To give them that comfort, O oh God. And that strength, O oh God. To face this funeral, O oh God, of the brother or oh the uncle or oh whatever is lying here, O oh God. Father, you touch them and bless them this evening, O oh God, with that courage and strength, O oh God. Father, we thank you, Lord, for everyone in the in this service this evening. That may you bless them, O oh God. Father, we thank you, O oh God, for the few words, O oh God, that we may learn from it, O oh God, and practice good things than everything, O oh God, good this evening. Let us love one another as God loves us. Let us forgive one another. God say, if you don't forgive one another, I won't forgive you. 
No holy men mind. That doesn't make no sense. You're killing your own soul, self. You're destroying your own body and your own soul. You never see a bad mind, man. He do reflect on his face. How he do look? Dryish. He do look nice. The mind killing him. But when you have a free mind, brother, your face is shining. You see, see? How many age you have, brother? They guess it, but when they hit the age, they ball. Because you have a good mind. You reflect. Brother, bless the Lord. So God is good this evening. Let us forgive one another. Let us lift up one another. Let us love one another. And let us do good to one another. And good shall follow over us. So I thank you for your patience and your time. That we are in the present here in the funeral service. May God richly bless everyone this evening. From here we're going to proceed to the, to the number five cemetery. Yeah, yeah, we will plan it just now. Yeah, 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 brother, yeah. So from after here we go proceed to the number five cemetery for the finishing part of the funeral. I don't know the coachman, he have him out of gun, I know he does play a little shoe. Not this one. Not this one? No. Okay, he have one resemble him. Sorry. I was in a funeral and he play a little shoe, alright. No worries. Well, all who didn't view the body and didn't get to see, well, you are free now to come and take a view. Oh, sorry. Anybody want to say something? Yeah. All right, come. Yeah, Let it up. Also known as Rudy, grew up grew up in one repose house, housing scheme in Guyana with his family. In Guyana, he enjoyed fishing and catching crab. Rudy was one of the most smartest persons you'll ever meet. Finishing secondary school with seven subjects and two distinctions. In his early to mid twenties, he met Eileen, and they had four children. Three boys and one girl. He had many jobs in Guyana. He did upholstery. He even worked in a gas station. He ran a shop with his wife and eventually started trading. He used to sell alcohol. If there's one thing we knew about Uncle Rudy, he was a giving person. Yes, even back in Guyana, he worked in a gas station. He learned everything about operating a gas station and running a gas station. He could have had his own gas station, but I guess that was in his cards for him. In his mid-30s, he left Guyana and moved to Trinidad. On May 24, 1984, along with his brother, he settled in and around Barakpo, and then Grandy and back to Barakpo where he lived his rest of his life. In Trinidad, Rudy first started cutting cane. After he proceeded by planting and picking rice in Barakpo. He also did some more poultry work and then went to Grandy to work in the cocoa plantation estate. Eventually, he came back to Barakpo and worked in many gas stations. As I said before, he knew everything about gas stations, so he started working there. He showed everyone how to run gas stations and operate the place properly. If there's one thing we all know about Rudy, is the love he found for alcohol. <laughs> he also loved kids. He would give us his last dollar. Uncle Rudy also loved getting his back scratch. He would say, you all want to work for five dollars? Come scratch my back. And we would eagerly run to him. I would say he enjoyed his life and cared for people around him deeply. Uncle Rudy, on behalf of my sister, 
Je l'ai adulté, elle est naturelle, monsieur. J'ai empêché à David de mieux te faire, et je suis pas écrite. Mais je suis aussi adulté, de ce que elle a ce que là, ils ont. I know you're in a better place and you're not suffering anymore. And I pray that God forgive you for all your wrongs you have done. Yes, son of boy, Aiden. He loves you very much. And he will miss you, daddy. You would not be there to take him to the shop anymore. Mm. And I feel there is a girl here. You always say you loved her like a granddaughter. A goody, rest easy, I and mean, we love you. Thank you. Thank you, sister, for the reading. Anybody want to say anything again? Good afternoon, everyone. And lips us. He grow me like a father. My mother died and leave us. But do this time as a father, mother for us. Long ago, brother was strict with the girl, children, and he was strict with us. But God gave him that health and strength he married. And he was with, uh, with us for a few more and then separate. But I must say, as a brother, we never forget you, my brother. You leave us but 40, since 83 or 84 you leave us. We still own you as a brother. But thank God you have a brother and Bouchi, baby and Joe that stand for you today. And I want to thank everyone in Barapur here or wherever it be that help you along to be there up to this day, my brother. I must say thank you to everyone that didn't give you a cup of water where we are far. But we still make it here to come and see you today. To farewell to you, my brother, from your nephew, your niece, your wife, your children from Guyana. And they tell me to tell you they miss you. And especially your children, your two sons, they cannot make it, but they miss you a lot. You never return to them, but they still own you as someone, as a father. Mm -hmm. Sleep on my brother, you and God beautiful land. We shall meet on that beautiful shore. One day we shall meet my brother. I miss you so long. But life is this, my brother. When we have time, we came. But after since 2006, I didn't came back. I had my own problem, my brother. But you, I came to see you for the last. God bless you, taking his beautiful garden, his beautiful land. Sleep on, my brother, sleep on. You leave Joe and his family, me and my sister. We have no one more except Joe and his wife and family as brother. So God bless you, my brother. God bless you, my brother. That you have, you are to have stand today for me. Good afternoon, everyone. I come favor with my brother. And my brother was so nice and I enjoy staying with him two weeks. Me and my daughter. And we had a nice time with him. When we were ready to go to the airport, my brother done dress up and waiting for me. We hug him, we kiss him, it's about the trembling. Go inside and cover up and sleep, we go home. We go home. I go call when I reach home, I said, when we reach home, and I cry. I said, don't cry. I don't come back and see you. Don't come back and see my brother. I don't think that it's true. It is God, my brother. My brother, when I hear my brother sick, my father tells me there for my brother. But I know, if my brother is telling me my brother is talking to me, I say, oh my God, God, I punish him. Take him home. Always, my brother. I love you, sister. Love you. I always love you, my brother. God bless. I always love you, brother. My brother. 
Ready? You, you are the one that brought me to this land. I made my future here with my wife. And you know, you two, two niece, your niece and your nephew. And she, she cannot make it here. And Nicholas is here. We all love you, my brother. No matter what happened, you are still my brother. And I always tell everyone. And you tell everyone the same thing. And I dare you. You don't worry me. My brother will come. Mm. You raise your sister. Your brother will come. Yes, mm. your brother is here to take care of you. You are going home safe, Johnny. I be here to miss you. Really. Every time you call this up, that man, your brother, I'm just to take care of you in any way. Today you are leaving all your friends, all your family, because this was your home. 40 years this year would have made 40 years on the 24th of May. 25th of May, this will not make you. Will not make you 40 years. Brother, this became your home. This became your family. Everyone around you. I'm so happy. I'm so thankful. With everyone. Yeah. Are you ready? Hmm? Okay. All right. Fish. Go ahead. Okay, all who didn't you will come and take our last view as we go leap in our little timing.
my brother, no. He's not my brother there. I'm not family. He's born. I have no real brother. My own brother. But these are the ones I call brothers and family. They stand up for me. To make this day <coughs> successful. For my brother-in-law, for the sister-in-law, you know all them kids are ruining every one of them. You had a big family here, you didn't know. But you were used Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's tell, tell you. Okay. 
Okay, come, come, Rabbi. Come see you, buddy. Come here. You have no way. Michael. Michael. All right.
and grant him that amount of time, oh God, that he spent on planet Earth, oh God. Father, they will miss him, oh God. Father, we thank you, Lord, for giving him that amount of life, oh God. Father, we thank you for him receiving, oh God. Father, may he so rest in peace, oh God. Lord, you in charge, you in control. You has given life, oh God. And you has received him, oh God. Father, we give you all the praise, the glory, and honor. In Jesus' name, that is so rest in peace. Thank you. Anybody want to go for last? Last word, last word.
Well boy, Rudy. Don't let her shock. Oh, you passed the ticket already? Thank 
Yeah. 